Excuse me, is this the Saviors of the Wasteland get-together? We've got another one. Yep, over here, bud. So, what do you all do here? <sighs> we just wait. Well, I think we ought to introduce ourselves. Oh, he always does oh, things man. like this. Guys, come on, let's be polite to our new friend. Alright, yeah, I guess so. If we're gonna be stuck with him for a while, I suppose we should. And he's still a loser. Alright, goody two-shoes, fine. I am the Vault Dweller. Wait, I'm a Vault Dweller too. Yeah, so is he, but I'm the first in the group, so that's just what I'm called. I was called upon my vault to retrieve a new water chip because ours was broken. A group calling themselves the Unity, which were a group of super mutants that wanted to turn everyone else into super mutants, and had progressed so much that I had to step in. I convinced their leader, calling himself the Master, who wasn't even really a super mutant, just a half-computer, half-guy mutant, I guess, into blowing himself up, alongside many of his followers, because of the fact that super mutants couldn't reproduce. Because there are only male super mutants? No, because there are no male super mutants, or female super mutants. The FEV destroys their sex organs, leaving them infertile. Little too much information. Alright, funny man, you're up next. Okay, okay, yeesh. Well, I'm the chosen one. They call me that because I was chosen by my tribe to retrieve a gek. What's a gek? It's a piece of pre-war tech that regenerates life in the event of a nuclear war. Huh. I eventually come across this group calling themselves the Enclave, that was about to release an airborne FEV virus that would kill everyone outside the Enclave. But I blew their oil rig up, which was their main HQ. An oil rig? Yep, and while I was trying to escape their oil rig, I ended up fighting a huge Enclave mutant, but they hate mutants. However, he was still in the ranks, so I don't know. Does the E on your armor stand for Enclave? Yep. Then why do you wear their armor? It's awesome looking. And that is true. Speaking of the Enclave, they also played a large part in my story. Alright, let's hear it. I'm the Lone Wanderer. I was born in the Jefferson Memorial Building. Well, yeah, who wasn't? But my mom died giving birth to me, and that made my dad stop this purified water project he and my mom and some other doctors were working on, eventually leading him to take me to Vault 101. We stayed there until I was an adult, and then he left, and I followed shortly after when I learned he left. When I caught back up with him, we went back to Project Purity, and he was killed when protecting me from the Enclave. I met up with the Brotherhood, I got a Gek, and finished Project Purity, giving water to the wasteland, and eventually blowing up the Enclave with an orbital strike. That wasn't convoluted at all. My bad. Man, still a good story. What's his deal? I got shot in the head by Chandler Bing from Friends with a 9mm that has the Mother of God on the grips. I make it to Vegas, kill him, take over his plane with a very friendly robot, and now I own Vegas. I don't understand. Join the club. He's Courier 6, or just the Courier. We think that when he got shot in the head, they missed some pieces putting him back together, so now he's just like this. How is his brain not hemorrhaged yet? We learned to just stop asking questions about him. He hurts my head. Sometimes I think it's on purpose. To them, no. To you, yes. Your turn, new guy. Well, I'm Nate. Have you not been understanding what we're doing here? What? We all have nicknames, man. I'm the first vault dweller here. He's the chosen one because it was just easy to find that name out. He is extremely convoluted, so we went deeper. All of his friends, loved ones, either die or separate themselves from him, so he is always alone. You didn't have to put it like that. And back to basics, he is a literal mailman. I like boxes. Okay, I think I get it now. Just tell us a story and we'll give you a name. Okay, I was frozen on the day the bombs dropped. So, chronologically, I am over two centuries old. My wife was murdered right in front of me. And my infant son, Sean, was taken. I was powerless to stop it. From the minute I stepped out of that vault, I did everything in my power to avenge my Nora and retrieve my son. Eventually, I found out Sean was not a baby anymore, but was instead biologically older than me. He looked 60 at least. He was the new leader of the group that murdered Nora and kidnapped him in the first place. He asked me to join him in his endeavor of redefining humanity underground. Knowing what he did with those people... What in the army we would consider war crimes? I couldn't join him, so I stopped him. I always wondered since the day I first saw his small little face when he would grow up to be. Such a disappointment. This guy's kind of a buzzkill. What the hell is wrong with you? What? He could probably use a good laugh. Whatever, man. If that is your example of comedy, I don't want to know what makes you sad. Sorry, yeesh. Well, you were frozen. What about... 
iced guy. Even I know that's stupid. What about the underground menace? It's missing something. The Soul Survivor. Huh. I like it. If there is one thing he can do, it's give answers. Sometimes. Now what? We usually just trade stories and wait for the next guy, of course. Sometimes we play Russian Roulette. No, we don't. Shut up, he doesn't know that.